sort of doesn't feel like a starter. Like it has the same, mm. you can equip it the same as the um, Hornet, the Super Hornet. Mm. It's like it has as many guns as you can get on any other small fighter. Right. So. A really cool. Ship. And with all the ships being the same, you know, like all the shields are the same and the power plants, like everything is so similar. Yeah. There's no, no big mm. distinguisher. So like, it feels like a. I don't know, like it's sort of overpowered for being a quote-unquote starter ship, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so the, 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 the Tana is that's a combat variant, right? Yeah, it's the combat variant, but it's not, there's no, really, really all you get versus the standard version of it is just that you get like some gun racks and some armor mm. racks and beds, okay. but you lose all the cargo. But but practically okay. in game right now, if you get the base version, you have the exact same combat capability. You have the same guns, you have the same shields. Oh, yeah. You know the handling and speeds are basically all identical. Okay. So there's so there's no no meaningful difference if someone's looking at them. Like the, the base version is just as good as the Tana right now. You you really only lose a couple missiles basically. Okay. Maybe uh. It'll have more armor though later maybe what they could do is add certain certain attributes to certain types of ships like a combat dedicated ship should have maybe an extra slot for military grade items like so like i feel like civilian civilian ships should equip everything except for military grade and the actual combat variant will have Let's say CPU processing power to handle military grade. I mean, that type of thing. I think that would be really interesting. That way people can actually sit down and think about the type of variant they want and possibly having multiple variants for different purposes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems kind of like the, the way they'll probably differentiate it. Well, I mean, we just haven't seen that much really on how they're going right. to differentiate it, but it seems like it'll be armor will definitely be a big part. And then mm. also handling, like there should be oh, yeah. better handling for a military vehicle. So it should get a small edge on, mm. you know, it's turn radius and, and, and all that, you know, I wonder how, um, armor is going to, is, is it going to be physicalized or you think it's just going to be attribute based? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's sh it, like if they're intending it to work so that it's, you know, provides a certain amount of protection on the surface everywhere there is armor on the ship. So if someone shoots okay. an area where there is no armor, you don't get any benefit of armor. Like if they unload okay. on your engines and they're precise with their shots, right? The, the, so yeah. that kind of creates that skill right. element where if someone's really good, they can just, they'll go straight for your engines or, or whatever, right. you know? Right, right, right. right. So see. that was their intention, but yeah, we don't know how that's okay. going to play out practically so i think if they focused fire on one area they could you know kind of drill a hole through your armor into the hull and hit your yeah. power unit you know <laughs> yeah. it's like no don't, <laughs> don't kill me yeah then they can just do whatever they want 